up guys, we're here with Chris, also known as the Shredded Cabbage, and uh, we're gonna go through a push workout today. Chest, shoulders, triceps. Yeah, awesome, yeah. and Chris is a uh, vegan bodybuilder, so we're just doing a bit of a podcast talking a bit about how to gain as much muscle tissue on a vegan diet as possible, and he's gonna sort of show us a few techniques today on how to do that in the gym, um, and we'll just run through it and let you guys know how it goes. Cool, I'm um, actually start working sets. I'll do, I'll probably do three sets on this total. First two will be like, not really working to failure. Okay. Um, keeping it pretty conservative. Yep. Um, probably just aiming for around eight reps. Okay. Then the third set, I'll just kind of do an AMRAP. Take as many reps as possible. Yeah, yeah we'll see what we can, we'll see what I can bang out for eight. I'll probably do like 17. Yeah. And see how we go. Ooh, that's quite heavy. Alright. <laughs> You got those short arms, man. I'm gonna push these things all the way up. You're gonna go all the way to the roof. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually well. some there's actually some research on that too that a dumbbell stand increase yeah. does incorporate a lot more of the, the medial head, so yeah. that'll do the delt. Definitely if you're prioritizing a muscle group, for example, medial head of the delt, trying to incorporate that exercise yeah. maybe first as a primary exercise in the movement and the sorry in the workout yeah. is gonna help you to actually get a little bit more out of it, a little more stimulation, put a little bit more effort into it and uh yeah. prioritize kind of hitting, hitting your weak points when you're fresher in the workout. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely be a good way to do it. Perfect, all right. A bit of feedback I got <laughs> from nationals is that um, upper chest needs a bit of work. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense coming from powerlifting, doing a lot of kind of like arch, arch yeah, bench. Yeah, it's mostly. almost a decline um, bench when you're yeah, doing power yeah. and arch. So, um, so next up I actually do a close grip bench press. Okay. Um, rather than an incline, I find close grip uh, allows me to load a little bit heavier than an incline. Um, but you get a little bit more um, shoulder extension and flexion, yeah. um, which, yeah. which gets a bit more of the upper chest in there, rather than just going through a movement. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, that's a really good so, point. Yeah, so if you're yeah. doing a normal horizontal bench press, you're going to be doing a lot more shoulder adduction yeah. like this, yeah. which is not going to incorporate a whole lot of the clavicular head of the chest or the deltoid, right? Whereas yeah. if you go through a close grip, yeah. By nature, your elbows are closer. Yep. You're taking the shoulder through more flexion that way, more cavicular head, yep. more yeah. deltoid. Yeah. yeah, more tricep as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. That's more, yeah, more I uh, think, elbows. Well. I think uh, I'm pretty sure every bodybuilder has to have more upper chest. It's like yeah. <laughs> always, the, always the, um, yeah. the, the feedback from the judges. Yeah, definitely. Cool, man. So let's hit yeah. that close grip. Yeah. Let's get into it. Or a couple of ones. A couple of ones, yeah. Yeah, probably three sets again. Yeah, nice. Um, what kind of rep range are we going to hit? Pretty similar to the shoulder press around Sweet. and the eights. Cool. Um, yeah. Do you ever use a rep range? Yeah, yeah, so it depends really. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I will as well. Like, um, I just kind of switched up my, my program recently because I've been a bit bored of things. Um, but at the moment, I'm essentially doing two sets of eight. That'll be that more conservative eight. Okay. And then, like that last set of eight plus. Yeah, it's um, a plus set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But other yeah. times I'll do like, um, you know, like, Three sets of six to eight, yep. eight to ten, ten to twelve, or even eight to twelve. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah just, just kind of dependent. Yeah. Right, what do you want to throw on there, man? Um, I'll chuck a twenty on. Yep. Um, I'll see how that feels. Last time I did, I might work up to eighty. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll treat this as kind of like. Yeah, second warm up. Next yeah, warm up. Nice, yeah. Nice. All right, let's do that. I think one thing people need to realize is that, say, me comparing my strength to Chris would be probably the worst thing I could do, right? <laughs> people forget that anatomical differences in limb lengths play a huge part. So, with Chris, much shorter arms, he's going to be a very strong presser. Um, and he was just telling me his, I think his best press was 127 and a half yeah, yeah. For, a, for a bench press. So with myself, much longer distance to go with these long, dead long these arms here. Um, 
you know, I'm never gonna be a huge presser, but it doesn't mean I can't stimulate the muscle and still get a lot of hypertrophy out of the exercise. Yeah. So this is a good exercise for that. Good, good point here with like close grip bench. I feel like it's one of the things I have a lot of trouble gauging RPE on. Yes. Cause like, one, one rep could be moving fine, and then the next it's just like, oh, like, stops. Yep. Yeah. Um, Cause it is a, a long range of motion as well. Right, right. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that like the failure point kind of like comes really quick. Kicks in. I mean, yeah, so I might I might do a little bit more of a conservative jump up, yeah. 85, oh, um, rather, than, rather than like a 90. Yeah, no, Right, what's up next, bro? Um, we're gonna have... We'll do some triceps. Again, because close grip pretty much hits a decent part of the, the triceps. Yep. Um, I find that something that we lack a lot by doing pressing movements is um, the long head of the tricep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, doing a cable overhead extension. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, or you dumbbell or... overhead. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do standing. Okay. Um, so, so, we're in an overhead position, get a full stretch in that long head. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. Nice. With our triceps, um, first exercise on the triceps. Um, the reason I'm doing kind of an overhead movement is um, it gets the long head of the triceps. So triceps has three heads, um, hence the name tri triceps. Um, so the lateral head of the tricep is um, pretty dominant, um, especially when it comes to movements where the arms position in front of the body or down of the body, like if you think of your tricep dips, um, a lot of lateral head, um, and we did close grip bench press before this as well, so quite a lot of that lateral head there as well. Um, so the reason we're doing overhead is to get a little bit more action for the long head of the tricep, fully stretched position when you're overhead, and so really shifting the focus towards that part of the triceps instead of the lateral which we hit a lot more earlier on. So we'll hit a lateral raise, yeah. a little more down to action. Yep. Let's do it. Again, uh, hitting the more of the medial head at the moment is kind of my priority. Yeah. Um, yeah. So lateral raise. Cool. Let's yeah. hit it, man. Yeah. I feel like that's another benefit of doing it with like the chest supported. You can't really, well, it's very obvious if you start kind of like swinging yeah. up. <laughs> like if your chest leaves the bench, then it's. Well, that's right. Yeah. The, the biggest benefit to doing something chest supported is eliminating momentum. Yeah. So you can't shoot these reps, that's for sure. Yeah. So you're going about this position as good yeah. where my chest yeah. is? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'll be feeling those tomorrow, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could do like a cable. Cable would be, I remember we do a cable. Yeah, yeah. A cool. cable incline? Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fly? Fly? Move or that press. around. Um, I like to do a press. All right, cool. Um, yeah. I've actually never done an incline press with a cable in this gym. So yeah, we'll see right. how we go. See you there. I don't know if you've ever tried 
doing a myo rope technique before. Oh, okay, so. cool. Yeah. So what we can do is use the cable rope push down. Yeah. And because it's our last exercise of the session, we yeah. can incorporate a little bit of an intensity technique. Yeah. Um, but it's a really time saving technique as well. So for like people that are really lacking time within their training week, yeah. they might be in the gym 30 minutes, 45 minutes, awesome. using Maya reps yeah. um, is a really good way to get a lot of good volume in with a really short period of time. Yeah. So I'll explain how to do it and then we'll run through it, eh? Cool. Sweet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one set, yeah. anywhere between 10 to 20 reps, cool. and it has to be you know one to two reps shy of failure, okay. or completely failure, cool. okay? 10 to 20 reps, high rep set. Yeah. We're gonna rest 10 seconds, yeah. or like three to five big breaths, do another set to absolute failure. Now that second set should only be between like three to eight repetitions, yeah, right, right. right? And we rest again 10 seconds, and we do that multiple times. Um, today, what I'll do is I'll do my initial activation set, yeah. and then I'm just gonna do three mini sets, or my rep sets, okay? So it's a total of four sets total. When you count the number of effective reps, it kind of equals the same amount you would get from, say, four sets of 15 anyway. You're just getting yourself closer to failure and getting a lot more stimulative reps, okay? Um, so we're gonna hit that one, and it's, it's literally gonna take a very short period of time because you're just banging it out. Yeah. All out, okay? Yeah. So I'll I'll um I'll start off. See what this weight's like. I'll go a little heavier. Yeah. Again, it needs to be between ten to ten to twenty. Yeah. Um, and we'll just see how we go. <laughs> so it's seventeen. Yeah. So I got like. 10 seconds, no more. Back in. And that's my first Myra set. So I'll do two more of these. 10 seconds between. 10 seconds between. And I want to try and match four, but if it drops a rep, it's okay too. Starting out doing Mario reps, you start off with maybe two little mini sets after the first right. activation one, yeah. and you can slowly progress that as you want to increase volume. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it's a great little way to do it, man. So have a jam, brother. A little bit, yeah. in there right yeah. so if you were to count up the number of reps that were close to failure yeah. we're actually getting maximum recruitment of muscle fiber you know you're getting a lot yeah. so nice effective way to do things you don't use you know generally isolation lifts yeah. um, tricep extension leg extension yeah. calf raise bicep curl great exercise yeah. to do even lateral raise yeah yeah towards the end of the workout as yeah. well I assume. Yeah. yeah yeah sure man yeah. Oh, really good, man. So that's a good session, bro. Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, easy, man. So I finished up the session with shredded cabbage right here. <laughs> Been a good one. Did a bit of a push session. Yeah. Um, what do we do here? We said the close grip bench press yeah. with the begin. No. Yeah. Oh, we did the um, dumbbell press. Yeah, standing so standing dumbbell, standing dumbbell yeah. press, a little bit of delt activation, yeah. um, straight into a close, close grip. grip. Yep. Um, which is another good one for a little bit more upper chest, yeah. triceps and delts. Yep. Um, and then we followed up with a overhead triceps extension. Overhead tricep extension, so another good one to hit that long head of the of the, uh, of the tricep there. Yeah. Um, um, that raise, make... chest supported, yep. that raise. And then um, a cable incline uh, 
press, yeah, uh, and plank press, and then uh, finish up with those my reps, my reps as well. Push down. Yeah, yeah, so we had a lot of variation in terms of our workout there, but like we were discussing, massive thing there is to try and keep. Uh, some exercises in for a, a longer period of time. So we're talking like four to 16 weeks or so, keeping a, at least a couple of those exercises as your staples. Yeah. Uh, long term progression on them, learn the skill, and then once the skill is learned, you can start to actually benefit from the hypertrophy side of things. Yeah. Um, and I've definitely learned some stuff here from Chris today as well. Yeah, so it's always, it's always good to meet up with different people, learn some new tips and techniques. Um, and I think we'll have to we'll have to get another session sometime soon. Yeah, definitely. Man. Um, possibly yeah. grab a grab a meal, grab a vegan oh, yeah. meal somewhere as well. Yeah. It'll be good. See how this guy eats.